you know, Scorpio, are you able to, or are you going to be able to handle this person's attachment towards you, the, this uh, obsessive type of nature or a way of thinking that they have towards you? So let's start your reading, and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys have died for a while. But this is your general, your general love for the poor part. Gonna say, like, in your room then, to see what they're thinking of feeling. And vice versa as well. Feel free to jump here to the start of the reading, uh, guys, it is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on the camera. As I always say, please, you know, just resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but it pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout that jump out. And uh, of course, use this as a guide to support and move you in the direction of where you're wanted. Because like I always say, and as from that, we create. Oh. So just give me a moment to just finish the evening's part. Gonna take these out. So Scorpio, let's start the reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. Has this been your side of the person you're dealing with over here? But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most, okay? And as you can see, I've already drawn cards because I already started the reading and it wasn't recorded. How about that? All right, so, um, all right, so just checking at the past, looking at the past, Scorpio, we've got this you, a lot of passion, a lot of desire that you had uh, for this person. We can't take away way that and with that came this uh feeling of just having this opportunity to create something new or create something this potential there ultimately um with your person though where you're kind of very much caught up and thinking about you know this desire this passion this person is kind of obsessed let's say that showing up as the devil in their thinking position again this is the past though i feel like this person developed some form of attachment to you very quickly feel like this person you know when we're talking about the devil card we're talking about toxic type of behaviors so this can come up as just being you know stalkerish uh, obsessive um that type of energy and with that came this feeling of them giving but I feel like it's given in some way as well. I feel definitely the given is a tangible, something tangible. It could be resources in terms of finances, could be time, but they're just this kind of given. But I feel like coupled with the devil card, it's this overextending their self because of this obsessive attachment type of energy or mindset that they've got towards you. So I feel like there's a very much an, an overextended or uh, uh, overextending their self, so let's say that. Again, that's in the recent past or the past just bringing it to where it is now though it feels like there is this turn turn of events or this um something that's different it's been in there how do i explain that it's definitely taking a new path or taking a new, uh, doing something different there's something different around this connection currently so it's either it's taking a new path or taking a turn in some way where with you you're showing up as being hesitant. There's hesitancy there. Slow moving. I feel like it's, mm, yeah, it's coupled both. It's this hesitancy, uh, which is causing you to be very slow moving. Doesn't mean that you don't have some emotions there uh, for this person, but you're just hesitant. And it's going, it's, it's going towards this, what's going on in your talent position. We put that aside. So, yeah. What's well, so in your challenge position is the king. So when we're talking about the king, we're talking about the pinnacle of something. And of course, it's the pentacles. So it's this, you know, being able to ultimately have 
what it is that you want. So the king talks about, I've put in the hard work, I've evolved to a king, and now I'm reaping the rewards and the benefits of that. There's doubt around that. This, this being in your challenge position, there's doubt or concern or something around you actually having that and achieving that, whatever your idea of that is, with this person, hence the hesitancy. There's something around you taking control of, we've got the M which talk about leadership and um, authority, let's say that. There's something around you leading this or taking control of this, or the three of pentacles, so we've also got the six for it to be long-term. Something around that. Apply it where it fits, guys, with that, because it's a bit jumbled up for me. But I'm sure, you know, sometimes when that happens, it makes sense to you guys. So I'm going to say it as it is. But as I'm saying it, it's not making sense to me, but it makes sense to you. It, that's the cause or there's something around that being the reason as to why you feel maybe this can't happen with this person. We've also got this, the night as well, which talks about passion and desire, but that's in your challenge. So there is this element of that passion and desire either getting in the way. Yeah, not even either because it's in your challenge. It's definitely getting in the way to the point where it could be blindsiding you, where you're not being able to see through the cracks or you're not being able to see or have clarity on this situation because you're so caught up in that night, which is passion, desire, et cetera, et cetera. Your person's not happy though. They feel like there's been some injustice that is, um, they're just feeling like, unfairly treated they're not being treated fairly they're not being treated well and I feel like it's to do with you not moving this along we do have the justice there as well in their chatting let's put these aside for a second right. yeah and the justice is again it's this they're, they're really feeling like they're not being fairly treated but that in itself is getting in the way that's in their challenge told you it's tied to this obsessive um, attachment type of thinking when it comes uh, to you it's not beneficial to them hence while they're feeling like and being unfairly treated and not kind of being treated well here yeah i feel like this person may be taking it a bit too personal because of that yeah they're taking it a bit too personal because of that you know your um hesitancy let's say so there needs to be some transformation around that for them but it's also breeding and creating frustration within them as well because they're very much drawn towards you there's attraction strong a pull towards you oh you're you're wanting to remain hopeful though you wanted to remain hopeful whether it's whether it's with this person or just in terms of relationships in general but with the sun there it's like I want something that's going to have an impact on my life in a positive way. Not to say that this doesn't. However, maybe clearly not to, again, currently, this is currently, clearly not to maybe your standards or what your idea of positive impact um, is, and I'm talking about in a big way as well, something that has an effect on your life. And because you look at the rabbit, just kind of looking, you know, curiously to the side, and it's like, is this person able to do that? Going back to the king as well. Am I able to get what it is that I ultimately want when it comes to this relationship? Where were your person very much different? They're wanting to advance this. And they're wanting to put work into this. More than they have been. Like I said, I feel like this person has been overextending their self to some degree in some way. I feel like this, and, 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 you know, some of you could have, yeah, in order to, yeah, this person is going to put in some work. I'm not sure whether you've communicated with this person, even if you have, if you have, I mean, you know, they're clearly not, they're clearly not they're taking that on board because this person's wanting to put work into changing this. It's like, you know, I want to say changing this, moving this along, moving this along, advancing this ultimately, advancing this ultimately. I want to pull on this a bit more because that devil card is 
It's like, are you going to be carrying that energy with you? Yeah. No one really likes people that are so attached and needy or, you know, con controlling. I don't want to use that because I don't feel controlling. But I mean, well, it, it, for some, it, it may could be, it could be labeled as controlling, especially if they're ready to move forward and you're not, and they're kind of putting the pressure on or fit or, or trying to use reverse psychology for some of them that could be the case as well yeah they're not wanting to lose this so who who knows what this next you know the the next step this person is going to take because usually at this point the reader will move into part two get a fuller picture see what the next step is and then of course what emerges from that but and i will be implementing that next week guys. but as it stands it's this i'm gonna put in some work no who knows what bag of tricks this person has up their sleeve in order for for this to turn around and get you on board. But um yeah. Uh, so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you soon. Or next week. <laughs> Bye.